Hello guys and welcome now to mission 16 of our Let's Play of Ace 7 Sky Zone. Now in the last mission we saw some explosions in the sky. I think those were satellites being destroyed, that's why the comms went down. But let's see now, and this session is brought to you by our friends at Trustmaster. They have some pretty cool gear. Let's continue. As far as the chaos we find ourselves in these days, it's difficult to say which side pulled the trigger first. Arugia deployed an automatic intercept system with drones. Osea implemented long-range attacks to bypass them. So Arugia decided to sabotage Osea's communications and navigation technology. Arugia couldn't launch a satellite themselves, but they were still able to hack the software of the Osean transmission and navigation systems. Before Osea even noticed, half of their satellites were hijacked. That's when things got ugly. In an attempt to knock out each other's capabilities, both forces launched fighters loaded with anti-satellite missiles at the same time. Only military satellites were targeted. However, their destruction created a debris field in orbit which wiped out scores of other satellites, both private and government owned. What kept the world relatively sane up to that point had been free-flowing data and information. But now, those were gone. All that remained was chaos, confusion. Government and civilian broadcasts and transmissions were cut off. The flow of information had ceased. Forces on both sides of the conflict now found themselves unable to communicate with their superiors. Many of the smaller countries annexed by Arugia and yearning for their independence seized the opportunity and started their own uprisings. As for why some of Osea's military decided to break off from the main force and continue on their own, I have no idea. Perhaps there was some sort of dispute over the chain of command. The continent that had once seen wars that were only fought between Osea and Rugia was now full of numerous conflicts between rival leaders vying for power. Insurgencies were everywhere. I even heard a rumor that a group of Osean convicts had rebelled. Rumors. It never ceased to amaze me that even at a crazy time like this, Something as trivial as a rumor could find its way here. Communications from corporate were cut off. Apparently, the entire computer network was down. It was a wise decision to make our drones autonomous with AI instead of being radio controlled. Wise and forward thinking. Even with their GPS offline, they can still use their sensors to navigate as long as they're working properly. I'm sure the drones are still working perfectly, following their mission orders to the letter. I wish I could upload Mihai's new data to them, but without a connection, I can't upload the software to the active drones. The new ones we're making, though, there should still be enough time to upgrade those before they're activated. I'll be taking the data I've acquired away from the front lines now. Oh, and be taking the girls too. I told my assistant Masa it was time to get Mihai's granddaughters ready to leave here. She's not much older than the girls, but she has a way about her, and I'm sure she won't have any trouble with them. I saw a plane flying off in the distance. I imagine it was looking for a safer place. The plane had a rose emblem on it. Last hope. I'm quite surprised that the, the princess hasn't been involved so much thus far. Very interesting with the satellites and all. Rusia's communication networks have been down since their satellites were destroyed. Unfortunately, we are experiencing trouble too. All of Rusia has been affected, and we don't know when things will be back up and running. We're not even sure if this is Rusia's doing. Still, we will follow the strategy that was originally planned and move on to the next operation after liberating Farbanti. Let's get to it. Since the war began, we've been receiving communications in secret from an officer in the Erusian army. With the capital under our control, Erusia's radical element is losing support quickly, affecting the balance of power. 
HQ is thinking of using the military officer as a way to gain leverage to settle peace negotiations. The officer is currently hiding in the outskirts of Anchorhead Bay, having joined up with support dispatch from the Ocean Army. The plan is that they'll take a standard vehicle to a rendezvous point at a harbor in the east part of the city, where a helicopter will be waiting. I would like the new Strider Squadron to provide escort for the officer. Cyclops will remain at the base on standby to serve as defense. With the communication network currently down in the capital, I very much doubt Arusia will be able to mount a regimented counterattack. However, it is likely that Arusia's intelligence department and the remaining forces who are aware of the officer's movements will interfere. Keep a close eye on the officer and make sure he stays safe. Our victory in Farbanti has given us a golden opportunity to finally end this war. Be safe out there. Take note that our satellite-based IFF has become unreliable following the recent communications failure. As such, target ID will be done by processing the images from the infrared cameras on your aircraft. Objects will initially appear as unknown on your HUDs, but will be ID'd once you close in on them for a set period of time. All right, I guess that's our life without satellites. We gotta do everything manual. It's kind of interesting that the whole presentation was a little bit different this time with no music and he hit, the guy had to select things manually in the map and the area there. So yeah, satellites are kind of important. And protect the original officer, Operation Gorgon. All right, I think we're ready good to go. I initially thought that by looking at the guy, I thought it was Clarkson from Ace Combat 3, but no, it's a different name. Ooh, it's all foggy this time. And no music. Something, something's up. Uh, let's go with the F-18. And I'll bring the QAM just in case. Strider Squadron, you're cleared to taxi. Such a different atmosphere now, so serious. And mysterious as well. Alright, mission 16. Last Hope on October the 1st, 2019 at Anchorhead Bay, which has been featured in previous Ace Combat Games Support City. To the unidentified Ocean craft, this is Captain Carl of the Ocean Army. Are you here for the escort? You're not the squadron I was expecting. Are you really friendlies? Over. This is Longcaster, airborne warning and control system for the Ocean Long Range Strategic Strike Group. Captain Carl, they're on our side. And those two pilots we've heard about must be here too. Okay, I hope you're right. Longcaster, are all of these really unknowns? Holy... It's a state of civil war. The Erosion Army is fighting itself. There's no guarantee the Oceans won't shoot us in this confusion. We'll image process the unknowns caught in your camps to identify friend or foe. The process will be faster if you get a close-up, well-centered image. Meanwhile, just run if they shoot us, right? Affirmative. Always identify your target before you fire. Or is something I'll never get used to. Tonight has been a total shock. Oh, allies. Okay. This is AWACS for the LRSSG. Our info has been updated. Let's try our squadron's IDs. Oh, and uh, hand me that sandwich. Allies. Ally. Oh, he's firing out, yeah. not allies. But we do have ID data. Check your tap terminal. Oh, she's just in a civil war. This is crazy, guys. Site. Make sure to keep track of your objective. How this war ends depends on this mission. I'm counting on you. Understood. Strider Squadron, identify the unknowns along the route. There they are. It's illusion. No, they're allies. I mean, they are rooted, but they are allies. It's weird. They've opened up a path for us. The more the merrier. Strider 1, Fox 2. Trigger and destroy the target. We can't see the tops of the roofs from 
down here. Be on the lookout for enemy ambushes. Vehicle confirmed destroyed. We made it through the Anchorhead Bay area. We're heading along Highway 208 under the bridge. We're taking the coastal highway the next ramp. All right. All right, follow the car. It is not Oh, so they they actually fire at you until they, you identify as friends. Okay. Things are complicated now, you don't know who's your friend, who's your enemy. This is kind of a unique thing in Ace Combat, in this mission. There he is. Oh. This is a white net cast. We really don't want the war to end, do they? Oh, the vehicles come out of the parking lot. That's cool. Out of the garage. We have some enemies coming up behind us. They're gaining on us. Strider 1, target destroyed. That's probably an enemy, yep. Grunder Park. Grunder is involved, guys. Remember the cutscene in the opening? Oh, 
with the drones coming out of the containers, that was grander. Free Arugia's back? The highways are really well done. I'm quite impressed. And it's funny that they drive on the left side, like a Japanese style. Not supposed to be there, but okay. Right, let's do that. A lot of tanks. Come on, ID. They want to fire at the friendlies. I don't know if there's going to give me a mission over. Belka all along. You talking politics? That's new. Holy! That's so many revelations in this mission. Belka, the country from Ace Combat Zero and Ace Combat Five. The enemies in the end of the tunnel. Uh, enemies.
faster. There's a couple of countries annexed. A lot of them. It's funny because the Erujian, the young officers of Erujian, they cause the conflict in, the, in H.4 as well. Network. That's what E and N stands for from the opening cutscene. Getting out of here. I've had just about enough of this place. They're on for mission two. I'd like to offer my thanks to the LRSS chief. We should finally bring about a true end. Understood. Good luck. Multiple unidentified aircraft approaching. What? This plane is carrying civilians. We have an escort. Oh, that's the Erosion Airspace Company, EASA. What's going on? Try to get a little closer. Weapon use is prohibited. All right, let's check it out. What's going on, Doctor Shooter? Whoa, whoa! There's a girl on board. She's not lying about carrying civilians. No, unless she's a soldier. Isn't that the guy from the cutscene? That's the doctor, right? I repeat, this craft is carrying civilians. We are not here to fight. That is him. I'm sure I don't need to remind you, but do not attack the civilian liaison. So that's me. Oh shit! Crazy. Does that mean if we protect the C1, the transport plane, we're gonna get the, the technology that the scientist has? Those escort aircraft are drones. What? 
But they're F-18s. Can I shoot them down? Alright, so they modified F-18s into drones. Interesting. Wait, what? Nice. The drones. Mm, and they use lights to activate the drones. Interesting. All right, let's protect the, the transport plane. of flares. Very nice cockpit with all the instruments at night. Transport seems to be safe. Three bandits to go. Targets in machine gun range. Two bandits left. Show them what you got. Alright, so you have two QAMs. That should be enough. It's a very agile missile. And the last one. Special weapon redepleted. Strider one, that's what I like to see. Another story to tell my boy. Are we good? Where's the transport? All hostiles have been eliminated. Nice. General's helicopter is flying safely outside Anchorhead Bay. All aircraft, RTB, mission complete. Huh? Are we not taking the, the transport? Lost the guy? We lost the the, the the informant guy from the. Oh my god! But man, so many revelations. Belka was supporting Erusia from the beginning of their technology. That's probably where the scientist comes from too. Wow! Oh, there's a billboard right there. Interesting. I'm gonna have to check that out later on. Holy! That that was a lot of stuff. A lot of information. Belka, the Germanic country that has a very advanced technology. They're behind this of Arusha and their drones. In order to respond to the attack on the base, Cyclops has scrambled after being on standby. We'll head up too once our planes are ready. Oh, and Labarth is dead. What did you say? 
Apparently, he was shot down by another Ocean aircraft after he left the area of operations. I mean, I know it was chaos, but still. At any rate, the sealed order operation has come to a close. We have no idea about a plan for going forward. All we can do for now is watch our own backs. What's up with the commander? He's staying in his room. He's still alive, since we can hear him crying. I'm confused! What is what the heck is going on? Did we not get the transport plane, the Russian transport plane? We could have captured them and told them to follow us or something. But the guy is dead. But still we heard we heard him talking over the radio. So we know a little bit of what's up, but you know with this situation, you know, with this whole civil war, several factions. Boy oh boy! I'll leave it up to that. Hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next mission. Let's see how the trauma is going to end. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like, share and comment. Tell me what you think. The, it's been confusing. I did okay. I did okay. I rank A. Lots of points. But yeah. And uh, please check out my friends at Trustmaster. They have the links in the description for, you know, some cool gear. Aviation related like headsets, flight sticks. They also have racing stuff. As well, like a racing wheel or your racing games. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.